Ah, what do we have here? This is a classic movie. Tim Burton's Sleepy Hollow. Hey guys, what's up, what's happening? You got the King of Games 98 here, and on today's 5-minute review, spooky <laughs> for the month of October. Um, this, to me, is a cult classic Halloween movie. You know, at least every year. I gotta at least watch it once. Um... So, if you've never seen Tim Burton's Sleepy Hollow movie and are kind of curious as to what it's about, basically, I would sum it up as, um, starts off in New York City in, I think, 1799, and, you know, you got a real young Johnny Depp, <laughs> uh, playing in Kapot Crane, uh, I guess I would call him as a private detective, and he gets sent by... I, I don't I don't really remember what it was called, but it was Christopher Lee, the actor. Uh, he sends him to the town known as Sleepy Hollow to investigate three or four different murders where it was beheading. And so he goes to the town of Sleepy Hollow and he investigates and gets the crap scared out of him. Um, while at the same time uh, running into some uh, mysteries surrounding the town and the families that are associated with that town, uh, basically leading up to the origin story of the Headless Horseman, and even the story as to why the Headless Horseman is even there and coming out and killing people. Uh, so that's pretty much how it sum up the uh, main premise of the movie without really spoiling anything, because... This is a good movie. Um, so now for the remainder of the review, I'm going to talk about my thoughts, feelings, opinions about this movie, and then we're going to wrap this up. Um, so, let's see. First off, this was made in 1999. Uh, so, it's almost as old as me. 20 years old. <laughs> um, the runtime for this movie is 105 minutes, which I want to say is about an hour and... 30 minutes, hour and 40 minutes, something like that. Hour and, okay. Hour and 20 minutes. Um, I didn't really think the runtime was too long. I thought it was like just enough to tell the whole story and wrap it up. Because, you know, there's definitely those movies that are just way too long. Um, I really liked the acting casts for this movie. Uh, Johnny Depp, Christina Ricci, Christopher Lee... Um, Christopher Walken, uh, I'm pretty sure the actor that played Emperor Palpatine in the Star Wars prequel movies was in here too, I'm not sure of his name though, but yeah, I'm pretty sure he was in there, um, yeah, I, I thought those were all great actors, they, to me, really make this movie, um, and then some of the really important things I want to mention in this, uh, are the differences between Tim Burton's version of Sleepy Hollow and the original story. So, in Tim Burton's Sleepy Hollow movie, uh, Ichabod Crane is a private detective, whereas in the original Legend of Sleepy Hollow story, Ichabod Crane is a school teacher. Uh, so that's one. Um... Oh, uh, yes. In the original story of Legend of Sleepy Hollow, uh, the classic bridge scene, where Ichabod is riding his horse, Gunpowder, and crosses the bridge and turns around and says, you know, to the horseman, you know, ha ha, you can't cross me because of the magic, whatever, powers of the bridge, I forget. And then the horseman just walks right on through and just defies all odds, like, yeah, I just did that. <laughs> Well, in uh, Tim Burton's version of Sleepy Hollow, uh, they have that scene, but instead of the horseman walking through, or uh, excuse me, not walking, I guess more riding through on his horse, the bridge, he instead jumps on top of the roof of the bridge, walks uh, on the roof, climbs down, and then is on the other side of the bridge. Still cool that they had this scene, but, you know, differences do make, you know, they do, they do make noticeably, you know, different changes. Um, yeah, that, that kind of is all that comes to mind for me right now for different, uh, 
between the original story and Tim Burton's version. But, you know, other than that, it's still really good. I can't, re I don't really have a bad thing to say about this movie. I really like it. Uh, other than, you know what, some of the CGI for the time was kind of crappy. But other than that, you know, it's still a good movie. Uh, my final rate for Tim Burton's Sleepy Hollow is going to be up, is going to be an 8 out of 10. Uh, and yeah, that's going to do it. Thanks for watching, guys, and see you next time.